in June we have this birthday of Donald Trump, but also this is the birthday of Herbert Fritsche, who was born in Berlin. He was working in Munich for a long time and he was very much into esoteric field, especially from the perspective of medicine. He was in the homeopathy. We'll skip that part if it works or not. But he was very much dedicated to writing. He was very much profiling author. If you see his Wikipedia, so many books he has written. So he was also very much into the spirituality. He was having uh, big positions in the mystical branch of uh, Christianity, uh, which is related to Gnosis studies. Uh, so he was uh, having a, in a few institutions, uh, he was playing very high uh, role. So this is a very interesting, very strong chart. This is coming from the 10th Lord Mercury from the Rassi chart in the Dashamsa Lagna, which is giving that success. And this is with the Mars, which is showing the leader, the Netra. So he was like a leader when it comes to this new age or esoteric field, astrology. He was also publishing the papers about the vegetarian diet. So also this is very nice. So we will study this uh, interesting chart. focus of this video will be on the Skevala Yoga. So what happens when the Atmakaraka is the Shubapati, which is the dispositor of the moon? So then the Vimshotri from the Atmakaraka is the main one. Uh, we can set this in Jagannath Hora or in Devaguru software, in Sri Jyoti Star. Just start the Vimshotri from the planet, uh, which is the uh, dispositor of your moon. For example, if you have moon in Capricorn, like in this case, then start the Vimshotri. The first Dasha, the first cycle, the first Mahadasha would be that of Saturn. And then we will have this Mercury, then Ketu, Venus, Sun, and so on. So apart from the Kevala Yoga, this chart is a good example for Graha Malika. As usual, we will study the Navamsha, Dashamsa, Arudalagna. Also very interesting example when it comes to how the yogas are formed. We know that this is the conjunction. Drishti is very important and also the Parivartana, the exchange between two houses or two signs, right? So these are the main situation, how the planets are forming the relationship. Because we know that the yoga or the relationship between planet, this is the fun, this is when the fun begins. Because in the beginner stage, we are paying attention to, yeah, Mars in the fifth house, Mars in the second house, or seven lord in the third, seven lord in the sixth, eight, twelve. What is the meaning? But after some time, we are more into the yogas because yogas are more rare. So also the results will be much more specific to that individual whose chart we are analyzing. Uh, so if we take his birth details from the Astro Data Bankam, we are getting the 14 degrees and 23 minutes. And as we know, this is close to the border in the Dashamsa, so the Dashamsa can be Eris or it can jump to another sign, which would be Taurus. Now for me, Eris is very satisfactory here because we will have the 10th Lord from the Rashi, Mercury in the Lagna. This is giving us two things. One is the success, because Mercury would have the directional strengths, the Digbala, so this is the showing that the person will have success in the career life. And secondly, this Mercury will be in the uh, Dharma Trikona, which is first, fifth and ninth. So when that happens, then person is working with the knowledge. So if you will see his literature in the Wikipedia, there is so many books he's written. So definitely I would say that this Mercury would be in the first house. Now this Mars and the Lagna, this plays a big role in the chart. Uh, we will go to this when we will analyze this Graha Malika Yoga in the chart. But on this stage, we can say that when Mars is strong in the Kendra, like in the Ruchaka Yoga, then it gives this uh, interest in the esoteric thing like astrology, especially things which are related to prognostication because this is the Agni Tatva, the fiery element, which has the ability to either visualization or the prognostication. It must not be Jyotish, it can be, for example, uh, predicting the things like in economics and so on. Also, the very important argument would be that the moon, Mercury Yoga is needed for working in the doctor field, in the physician field, especially when it comes to a branch like homeopathy or working with the herbs. Then we need the yoga Mercury to the moon. For example, if you are a surgeon, we need the Mercury Mars yoga and so on. So here we have this moon in the sixth house, right? In the Mercurial sign Virgo. So we have this moon Virgo connection and the sixth Lord is in the Lagna, which may also show preference that this is the chart of the person who rather wants to be employed, right? The sixth Lord is connected to the Lagna. So this is his attitude to rather be employed than to be a freelancer. Okay guys, so if you like this video so far, 
please click the thumbs up. You are helping me with the algorithm to make my videos more visible on this platform. If you have any questions or comments, please write down below. Let me know what is the most interesting part of this video for you. Uh, subscribe if you like to get notification about similar videos in the future. Now let's go back to this video. So after rectifying the Shamsa chart to Eris, right? Because we said it was on the border, 15 degrees, so it can be Eris or Taurus. So after rectification to Eris, we now have only two Navamshas because we can start with Navamsha or the Shamsa. This depends on the signs. If I see that, like here, the degrees is around 15, so it is better with the Shamsa because it's just on the border of the Shamsa, and then we will have only two Navamshas if we set the Shamsa right. So um, then it would be the Navamsha of Rio or Cancer, and I have seen that each Dasha, it was all pointing at Cancer when it comes to time of demise of Herbert Fritschen. It was either Taurus in one Dasha, in the other it was Scorpio. All are aspecting by Rasi Drishti, the Cancer. And now if we use the Kevala Yoga Dasha from the Atmakaraka, it was the Jupiter Dasha. And Jupiter is the 8th Lord with the Moon, which is the 12th Lord, in the 6th aspecting the 12th. So again, very strong connection to the 12th house. By Lordship of the Moon, aspecting the 12th house Cancer. So it's definitely Leo. And now we have Rahu in the Lagna and Mercury in the ninth house, which is giving this writing skill. And also the Sun aspecting the 10th house, which is also giving writing and also is giving this a spiritual source of wealth, be it the charge or kind of spiritual institution. And we have also this Jupiter and Moon in the sixth house, also aspecting the 10th house of the income. So in this way, we can decide what will be the best source of earning. The 10th house in the Navamsha may show the acceptance of fortune. It's like the gods are saying, yes, you can do this thing and you can get success, wealth, fame, depending on the connection to these various points in the Navamsha. So we see that the Kevala Dasha is very, very accurate because if we take the Vimshotri or Kshema Dasha, we can use also Kshema because the moon is in the second house, both of these Dasha, the time of demise was the Venus. And Venus is also very important here in this context because Venus is an aid from Saturn and Atmakaraka in the Navamsha, but is not so straightforward and directly connected to the 12th house like the Kevala. So now you can appreciate that the if Atmakaraka is loading your moon, just start the Dasha with the planet of uh, Shubapati or Dispositor of the Moon. The Kevala Dasha, this is when the Atmakaraka is loading the moon, which is called technically uh, Shubapati. So the Shubapati is the Dispositor of the Moon. So when the Shubapati becomes Atmakaraka, now Atmakaraka is the planet with the highest degrees, then we can start the Vimshotri Dasha order. Vimshotri Dasha is the main time cycle in our life. For example, we can be in the Dasha of Venus or Dasha of Mars and so on. And Dasha is the period, right? So if the Atmakaraka, the planet with the highest degrees, is also the dispositor of the moon, then you can start the Dashas from that planet. For example, like in this chart, moon is in Capricorn and Capricorn is loaded by Saturn. It happens that Saturn is the planet with highest degrees, which is the Atmakaraka. So the first Dasha would be Saturn. And then we are going in the order of uh, yeah, the Vimshotri order, which is the Saturn, Mercury, Ketu, Venus, Sun, Moon, Mars, Rahu, Jupiter, Saturn, and so on. In the beginning of July, Sanjay G will be giving us the lecture uh, on the YouTube, probably will be published, also about the Kevala Dasha. Uh, so I cannot wait for this. Uh, probably there will be some new information how we can uh, use this Dasha in the chart and what it really means to have this yoga in the chart. So very important thing is that there are this garland of planets. We see that the first planet is Mars and this is ending with the Venus and eight. They are going house by house. If this is more than four planets without the nodes, or uh, five with the notes, then this garment of planet is called Graha Malika Yoga. If you want to get more information about this, click this video here. And uh, when this Graha Malika Yoga starts with Kendra, then it means that the life, the direction of life is going more into material life. If it's starting from Dushtana, then it's good for some time to be in some renounced uh, mode of life. This can be some temple, or some, uh, we could say, retreat, spiritual retreat, uh, for some time, right? The austerity 
uh, stage of life has to be there, we could say. And now this is ending in the Venus in the 8th house. Now we know that Venus in 8th is also kind of spiritual yoga. This is we called, this is going in a tendency towards the sannyasa, especially if it's the dispositor of the Atmakaraka or dispositor of Lagnesha, then this is even more strong. But anyway, this Venus in 8th is, uh, this is uh, giving that spiritual, uh, tendency and especially we see that both of these plants Mars and Venus they are in the fourth house in the uh, Navamsha so this fourth house also has to do with spirituality and here in this case this is also the Scorpio and again we have Mars strong in Kendra this is now pointing towards spiritual sector of work very much because the tent from the moon is that Venus and when it comes to tent from the moon the Shastra the Vedic scriptures about astrology, they are uh, accentuating the Navamsha. We have to see the Navamsha sign and planets joins the tenth lord from the moon. It seems to be very important. Now when and we use the Kevala Dasha, we know that he has started the working in the magazine, in the newspaper, in the Ketu Dasha. And uh, when there is the node, it's very important to see the planets which are having some kind of influence of the node nodes are Rahu and Ketu because the nodes have tendency to give the effects of plants they joined or the dispositor. So in this case we see that Ketu in the Shamsa, in the chart of work, is in the Pisces. And uh, Jupiter is in the 11th house aspecting the 5th house. So now because Jupiter is dispositing the Ketu, he is giving the results in its Dasha. So Jupiter aspecting the 5th house is giving the new job It's in, in its Antar Dasha. And uh, this is very interesting because the same thing happens for the Rahu. And uh, he resigned from that work in Dasha of Rahu Rahu. And Rahu is in the sign of Virgo. So now the results will be given by Mercury. And Mercury is in the Lagna, but this is with the Eighth Lord. So the Eighth Lord and also Mercury is the Third Lord. So Third and Eighth are ending the job. And this is because it's in Lagna, we can say that this was the person's decision. Now the Lagna Lord, the Ascendant Lord, Jupiter, is in the 11th house of tradition, spirituality. We know that in Vedic astrology, the 11th house plays very, very important role when it comes to the guru, spiritual teacher, tradition and so on. This is because it's the third from the ninth. This is like the Upadesha of the Guru, right? The third house from the uh, ninth house would be uh, very important. And then we also see that this Jupiter is with Ketu. So now this is not only the spiritual tradition, but this is also the Jupiter Ketu Yoga, which is very important for any parampara, any uh, spiritual studies and so on. Uh, so the last important thing is about the formation of yoga, which is called the Trikona Yoga. You will see that in this chart, the 10th Lord is in the sixth house. This is often in the charts of people who are into the art, but also in the people who are into medicine or anything related to health. So here we will have the Mercury, but this is in the moon sign. And this is also in the Trikona to the moon because moon will be in the second house. So now if you have Mercury in the sixth and moon in the second, then see the other Trikona, the remaining one. So this will be the 10th house. So now we know that this Mercury and Moon, they are acting on the 10th house. So we can say, yes, this Mercury Moon, so this anything related to journalism, shop, or uh, medicine, being a physician, especially as we said, this with herbs, working with herbs, natural medicine, this is now influencing the 10th house. So this yoga is influencing the work. For example, if the same yoga would influence the 7th house, this could give children out of wedlock, right? This is the Shastra are saying about this Mercury and Moon. And also we have another one. We have Venus in the 8th and Mars in the 4th. So now we see that this is on the 12th house. So this Mars and Venus yoga, they are not only in the 4th house, but they are having this common yoga on the 12th house. And 12th is about spirituality, about liberation, Moksha Bhava, right? Sanyasa Bhava, this is the Vyaya Bhava, the expenses, the 12th house. So this Venus and Mars, this has this impact on the spirituality. And therefore it is bringing us the things like Jyotish coming from Mars and also healing the Venus because the Venus is the Shukracharya. He wants to heal us. He wants to give us the herbs, the mantra, which is giving us the 
uh, this healing power. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it from me. If you have found some value in this video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Uh, subscribe if you like to get notification about similar videos in the future. Share this with your friends and see you in the next one.